Welcome back, guys. My name's Leland, bringing you a brand new TA of XLM, Stellar Lumens. Somebody had mentioned in the comments that they wanted me to do a video on Stellar. So here it is. I'm going to give you my two Satoshis on what is happening with Stellar right now. Here's the liquidity crisis. This was back in March. This is the beginning of COVID. Everybody was scared. Markets dropped, equities dropped, cryptos dropped, obviously. And that is when this whole bull cycle started to start. It technically didn't start until Bitcoin broke through $16,000. But from a perspective of just looking at it, of course, the start was back here. If we take this trend line and we put it right there, you can see that we held as resistance here, 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 three, four, five, six, seven, eight times right there and we also got above it momentarily <clears throat> over here but and we couldn't hold it we even came down hit that resistance and seller was like nope don't think so and it came down but recently just at the beginning of this year we've had this massive pump almost 237 percent all the way up to the top which was at 41 cents that was a psychological resistance for Stellar. Hitting over $40, $40, hitting over 40 cents was massive resistance. And we had a sell-off after that, which pulled us back. And if we go to this wick down here, which was a 50% pullback, went all the way down to 20 cents, 21 cents area. Since then, bullishly, bullishly, we've been holding and consolidating in this area over here. Very healthy for a coin that just broke a resistance that's nearly one year long. A resumption down to test this trend line would, would only make me even more bullish, especially if we get a bounce up after. I think we can health we can say healthily, healthily. I think we can say um, with confidence that if we get above 36 cents, that we're gonna see more continuation to the upside. Well, where exactly are we going to see that continuation. Let's go ahead and pull up a Fibonacci. We're going to go from our mark, our swing high down to our swing low. But first, I need to be able to see all of it. Swing high to the swing low right there. And as you can see, if you've watched my videos before, we always talk about this retracement zone, this important, this critical retracement zone at the 618 to the seven, 786 line on the Fibonacci. That's a 30 cent to a 37 cent stellar to get to see more upside. What kind of more upside could we see? Once we break this 30, and we come back and we test it. Huge, great, we've got support. This is awesome, it's looking good. But the real test is getting above that 786 right here. As you guys probably have seen in my uh, GRT videos, that's, this is very important, very critical area with the Fibonacci to get above these levels. Once we get above the 37 cent line, it's price discovery mode after that. Once we break 47 cents with the seller, it we're going in price discovery mode, which we're, we're probably, this is just my opinion, don't take this as, as financial advice, but most, most likely going to be doubling after that very soon. So going to a dollar wouldn't be out of the question. And that will happen fast. That will happen absolutely very quickly, especially as we approach alt season. It's coming up, guys. We're barely there. We're not there yet, but it's, it's coming. These are the times to be accumulating. Accumulate, accumulate, buy and hold. Do not sell. Do not trade. Do not go back and forth from one coin to another coin. This one's popping. This one's, nope, don't do that. You're going to screw yourself out of possibly hundreds of percents, if not thousands of percents through this alt season. I'm hoping, let's go to the 15 minute. I'm hoping, and we, 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 did, we did talk about this earlier, that with this short term triangle right here, that we have a breakdown. We go down and we go test that support that we were talking about earlier. We get a resumption off of that, go up to 36 cents, boom, we're going through. We're going to go through. Let's go back to the four hour, and I do want to take a I haven't looked at this on the side yet. 
I want to take a look at the MACD and seeing what's happening right now. Lots of uh, lots of momentum, especially with this big move right here. We're cooling off, which is fantastic. We did we discussed that, and it is just a matter of time before we have another pop. Let's look at the RSI as well. In the middle, very in the middle, very undecisive right now. It could go either way. I would love to see, like I said before, let's go back and let's retest. Let me draw that trend line for you. Let's retest this trend line, please. Let's do that. Let's retest it. Let's drop down to the 30 and let's get a resumption off. If we do, guys, if we're coming down, we're going to look. Look for a 24. No, that's too low. Look for a 25 to a 26. No. 20, I would say 24 to 25 cent XLM. And if we get that resumption off, guys, we're gonna we're going much higher. We're gonna go much higher. Um, that's my two Satoshis on Stellar Lumens. This is a very big project, guys. Very big coin, especially with alt season coming around. Um, this coin is definitely, I believe, within the top 20 cryptos right now. And if you're buying anything within top 20, top 25 cryptos, expect a beautiful alt season. It's going to happen. It's coming. Don't miss the opportunity. My name's Leland. Wanted to provide you with a quick video. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. If you want to see other cryptos, let me know. Drop a comment down below. I will do TAs on more cryptos, and I really appreciate you guys coming by. I will catch you in the next one.